This, of course, is the second game. That means that for one of them, they're a map away from advancing, the other, a map away from defeat. And it is the last hurdle of this bracket, or this stage of the qualifier. Round one, only goes to the round of 16, then they meet eight players already waiting for them in round number two. So spawning up into the top right hand position of overgrowth, we've got the red zerg player representing my insanity, none other than Saxry. And his opponent down to the lower left, the blue zerg playing for Fnatic, we have Zanster. So, Saxry is up by one game. If he wins this, he goes into uh, the second qualifier quite nicely. However, Zanster's going to be standing in his way. Zanster's going to be trying to stop this as best he can. So, definitely something to keep an eye on. Neither player doing anything crazy yet. No signs of any nine pools or anything such as that. Instead, Saxry just going for the 14 pool, actually. Up against Zanster, who again is going to be going hatch first. And Zanster should be feeling quite confident in his hatch first. Because while Sakri didn't uh, full on one base him with anything or go for a speedling all in. There was a heck of a lot of bailing and zergling pressure. And while he did take some losses, I would not describe them as catastrophic. Quite bad, but he survived it. And that was a lot of pressure coming down from Sakri in game number one. Game number two, as long as it's not that bad again... Actually, Zanster really put up a good fight, so I'm interested to see what Saktri is going to try and do here. Looks like we're getting a little bit of lag issues here. Hopefully this will get cleaned up nice and quickly. Not sure what was going on there. I don't think it was on my side. I didn't drop any frames during the period of time, so um, no idea what happened there. Anyway, Saktri... Has got his natural base coming down. We've got one extractor coming through for him as well. Just chilling here at the moment. Nothing too insane. Meanwhile, Zanster, he's already mining gas again. Just fractionally ahead on that gas timing. A bit more than he was in game number one, actually. If we take a look at this, um, he's sitting there. He's going to be about 36 gas ahead. So, not crazy, but more than the 20 he was in game number one. It's going to allow him to get that zergling speed out of fraction quicker. Bailing nests a little bit faster. Uh, a nice way of looking at it is he's like one full bailing ahead right now in the gas can, which is actually quite usable, especially in ZBZ early game. Now, Zachary's natural, of course, will finish later than that, but his queen is done a little sooner. So he's already got that first inject. That gives him a small boost in the drone or in the lava count. I believe it actually gives you one additional lava early on, because obviously if the hatch is finished um, before the inject finishes, well, obviously it's getting a couple of additional lava so it's already got three i don't think it gets a fourth one before the inject completes but i could be proven wrong looks like it actually levels up pretty pretty similar so interesting stuff so uh, as this is all going this is normal bailing that's coming down from zanster meanwhile uh, from Saxry, he's pulled out all drones from gas while getting speed so we should be seeing or potentially seeing a lot of zerglings come through he's gone up to three queens as well Meanwhile, over on Zanster's side, the Bane Nest coming through means that, without even checking, I know that, of course, we do have a bait Oh, gas getting taken. Are you going up to 100? Cancels. Okay, this is really interesting. What has he seen to make him think this? He saw us, He's seen the Queen's edging forward. He hasn't gone in the main to see gas. We may be expecting gasless, potentially. Sakshi is behind a little bit in Metabolic Boost, about 30-ish seconds. What is the plan? Okay, Zanster is actually going to be going for a third really quickly, really early this third base. This is going to be like 6 minutes 5. Uh, actually, 6 minutes 3, crazy quick. This is going to be really interesting. Meanwhile, speedling all in. Has this been a complete misread by Zanster? If he had a baneling nest, what he was originally planning, he would be so safe right now. He can see that there's no third. Zanster going up into a lair. I'm not quite sure what Zanster... What he saw to read into this. There are a couple of drones down there, but nothing crazy. The link count is really high. Queen's pushing back the overlords as well. That's another alarming sign. 34 to 12 links. Now we see Zanster appreciate this. He's got himself supply block though, so he can't really get out many more Zerglings to defend this. 22 more coming in from Zachary. Zachary has just 
completely pull the walls over Zanster's eyes. This is so many Zerglings coming in. The drones are taking considerable amounts of damage. They're trying to stack up, trying to minimize damage taken. The queen is going to fall though, unfortunately. That means more drones starting to go down. It's actually low on the drone count, however, because he's pumped out so many Zerglings. Alleviating the supply block, we do see Zanster trying to level out that link count, but it's 51 to 0 at the moment. That is such a massive lead. The third base was a greedy attempt by Zanster, but Zachary, he's punished it. This was his plan all along. GG right there, and in just under 8 minutes, Zachary is able to take this game and take the series 2-0.